continue to urge diplomacy as the best way forward. <clears throat> but with Russia's continuing its buildup of its forces um, around Ukraine, we are ready no matter what happens. I also want to note that the UAE defeated a ballistic missile attack launched by the Houthis, a separate issue from uh, Yemen yesterday. And uh, we've been in daily contact with the UAE to address uh, those threats. And I've directed Secretary Austin to do everything he can to communicate the support of uh, the United States for the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and throughout the Gulf region. America will have the backs of our friends in the region. Today, but I'm honored to be here with a good friend who uh, has been wonderful relationships since I've been president and before. Uh, the Sheikh is, uh, I want to welcome you to the White House. 50 years of partnership. You're not that old, but 50 years of partnership. And uh, this past year, our partnership with Qatar uh, was, uh, has been uh, central to many of our most vital interests. Uh, relocating tens of thousands of Afghan Afghans, uh, maintaining stability in Gaza, and pro providing life-saving uh, assistance to the Palestinians keeping pressure on ISIS and uh, deterring threats across the Middle East, uh, and a lot more. And, uh, and the Emir and I have a lot on our agenda today. And we want to talk about the security in the Gulf and the, and the broader Middle East, ensuring the stability of global energy supplies, continuing our work together uh, to support the people of Afghanistan, and strengthening commercial and investment cooperation between our two countries. Speaking of that, uh, on that front, I want to applaud the new uh, deal that Qatar Airways Group uh, signed with Boeing uh, for a $20, uh, $20 billion deal, one of the largest deals that Boeing Aircraft has ever had, and it will support tens of thousands of good-paying U.S. jobs here in America. Qatar is a good friend and reliable and capable partner. And I'm notifying Congress that I will designate Qatar as a major non-NATO ally to reflect the importance, the importance of our relationship. I think it's long overdue. And I want to thank you again, uh, Your Highness, for being here and for making this trip uh, for you, uh, your commitment to our friendship and between our nations. And I'm looking forward to our discussion today. Well, thank you very much, Mr. President. Good afternoon to everyone. I'm very Happy to be here, Mr. President. 2022 is a very important year. It marks the 50th anniversary of our diplomatic relationship between Qatar and the United States of America. It's a very strong relationship, and we're very proud about it. We're very proud of what we have achieved. Of course, uh, this afternoon, I'm going to be talking with the President about um, different uh, topics, mainly about the security uh, of, uh, of our region. I think we demonstrated that how solid and how strong we can work together and cooperate on what we did in Afghanistan. We're very proud that we managed to evacuate tens of thousands of people of, and of Afghanistan. Of course, we have other issues as well that we're going to talk about, the equal rights of the Palestinian people and uh, other issues uh, in, in the region. So, you know, we're very happy and proud of this great relationship and we're going to continue uh, working together uh, to find ways and means to bring peace in our uh, in our region. So thank you very much for uh, you know seeing me today, Mr. President. And as you mentioned, that we'll be talking about uh, several uh, topics. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Let's go. Come on. Wonderful. So, so All right. I mean, yeah, for the second time today, the handlers, Biden's handlers, President Biden's handlers, not appearing to not allow him to, to take any questions. questions. Uh, protecting him from himself. Oh. 